hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Are you ready to get bacon in the kitchen? That's right. We're gonna be baking delicious breads today. Are you ready to learn how? Of course you are. Let's go. So all I'm doing is putting three cups flour. There's different recipes for how many different sizes of breads and whatnot. We're just gonna make one big loaf, okay? My kids went nuts over this in the whole wheat version the other day. Everybody did, the whole family loved it, okay? So today we're doing it with the white. You wanna use three cups, all purpose or even your bread flour, all the same, whatever. Just do that, not your self-rising flour. Just a plain, more of your plain white flour or your bread flour. Got it? Get it? Go? Good. All right, so we're gonna have one fourth teaspoon, a little bit more there. This is your yeast. This is SAF, it's my favorite brand. I keep this in the refrigerator, but for this recipe, you're just gonna be using one fourth of a teaspoon. Just put it on in there. All right, next we're gonna be taking one teaspoon of salt and we're just gonna be spreading it around in there. Simple as that. Now, all you're gonna do is you're gonna work this through. You can use a fork, you don't have to have a dough whisk. By the way, I had a follower send me this dough whisk. Thank you so much, very sweet. I love it, I love it, I love it. But you can use a fork, you can use a simple spatula, but you do wanna just kinda blend all this through because you don't want salt on one side and yeast on the other, so you just wanna lightly Mix it through. Last final phase for mixing up what we're gonna be doing here. Now listen, before you add water, this is what this is, really warm to hot water. Not boiling water, not scalding water, but really, really warm. That's what's gonna make this rise, rapid rise really fast, okay, is this warm water. But if you wanna add any herbs like rosemary or anything like that yummy into this bread, put it into your dry, mix before you add your water, okay? You don't wanna, if you forget, it's okay, but just make it plain, but that's the deal. So we're gonna add a cup and a half of water, really, really warm water. In the recipes that you see that take eight to 12 to 24 hours, they just do cool water, uh, depending on the recipe, and they go on with it. It takes a lot longer for it to activate and to rise. Honey, we're bypassing that, let's go. So again, I want you to see, I'm kinda holding it so you can see, it's a cup and a half, okay? So we're just gonna pour it in there, all right, and then we're just gonna mix it up. Really simple. Okay, so you can see this is a very wet, kind of sticky, shaggy, we, that's the term that you often hear. It's a shaggy-like dough. That's normal, that's good. So you just wanna mix it through, no problem. Get it mixed up how you like, no hands. See, it's no need. No need to need, girl. Then what you're gonna do is you're simply going to cover this. Now you can use saran wrap. I just use a towel. You can use a bread towel. And I just set it right over the top, leave it on the countertop. Three hours is what's recommended. You can do a little bit more if you wanted. If you Don't sweat the small stuff. If it takes three and a half hours because you had to go let the dog out, chase the chickens, run to the store, do some calculus with your kids. I don't know. It's going to be okay. All right. So we're going to be in a waiting period. So I'm going to cover this up. She's gonna sit on the countertop, just the plain countertop, and we'll come back in a couple of hours and we'll see how she looks. All right, guys, so here we are three hours later, okay? And what we're gonna be doing is baking the bread. But first things first, we wanna go ahead and start preheating our oven. You're gonna set your oven at 450 degrees and that could take a good 30 minutes for it to get to that temperature. You know your oven. You also want to go ahead while you're preheating the oven, you wanna go ahead and put your Dutch oven inside the oven. You want, it, you want it hot. You want that working up that heat inside that Dutch oven, okay? So you're gonna be doing that. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna look at our dough and you can see, let me pick her up. Really has expanded out. It's not fluffed over and you know bowling up to the ceiling or anything like that, but you will notice that it gets larger and it has expanded. So what I'm gonna be doing is putting down some flour on top of the countertop. I'm gonna work the dough just for a second. You really don't have to work it that much. And then I'm going to be putting it inside another bowl. So you're gonna see me put it into the parchment paper inside another bowl.
All right, so the Dutch oven is heating up with the preheated oven. I've got the bread rolled over, baby. We got the dough rolled over, sitting in the secondary bowl already on the parchment paper. So as soon as we pull this out here in a little bit, we will put the dough on the parchment paper. We'll pull the whole thing up. We'll put it into the hot um, Dutch oven. Be very careful, put the lid on, and then we will bake it for 30 minutes with the lid on, and then we'll go from there. All right, look at that, isn't she gorgeous? All right, so we have baked her for 30 minutes at 450 degrees with the lid on the Dutch oven. So what we're gonna do now is we have removed the lid, we're gonna put it back in the oven for, I just bake mine for about an additional 10 minutes. You can go a little bit longer if you want, okay? It's up to you. But that's what we're gonna do, so I'll see you back in about 10 minutes and 30 seconds. All right, guys, there she is. We'll slice her here in just a few minutes. I'm gonna give her a little more time to cool. Don't forget, you can substitute your bread flour or your all-purpose flour for whole wheat flour. You're gonna love that version as well. I'll put the details down below in the description. Like, subscribe, and share. Be sure to comment and tell me what you think. Try this out, and don't forget to get your Dutch oven. Guys, we appreciate you being here all the time. Enjoy, and guys, we will see you on the next video.